Art is important to any city because a city cannot exist without art. I mean, what, what is a city if not a civilised place? And you're not civilised unless you have art. And I think that's why Manchester has its art gallery, because the city was forming and developing in the 19th century, and in the 1820s they realised that there was something missing. This is the collection that belongs to the people of Manchester, and by extension to the nation, to everyone. It's our job not just to look after it, but to make it accessible. It's still very important to us. I've always wanted to work here because of the Pre-Raphaelites. The whole world of Victorian art is, I think, my home, and Ed Edwardian art too. But we've got contemporary art people, we've got historic art people, decorative arts, costume. We've got a frame conservator, and a paintings conservator, and a paper conservator. So we can not just know about the art, but actually preserve it. You don't say restore anymore. Conserve, prevent from getting worse, and uh, keep looking beautiful. For example, if it gets hotter or colder or more or less moisture in the atmosphere, a canvas might expand. Imagine pulling a Mars bar apart and the caramel layer stretches and the chocolate on top crinkles and cracks. Well, you might get, <laughs> you might, you might get the paint surface falling apart. So there are so many different people involved in managing the conditions in the building, the careful moving, wrapping, transporting of the painting, the lighting, the, the whole lot. So, that does mean, if you think, I know, I want to put that picture there, take months. I mean, it's our duty to make the most of every picture. Let me use an example of something that is on display. We've got the massive Etty painting, The Sirens and Ulysses, which when Etty painted it, he didn't take care with the materials. The painting started to look very dodgy, very early on. So after it was displayed in the Art Treasures exhibition in 1857, it went into the cupboard until like the 1990s and then they got it out, realised it was worth restoring and did it as a live restoration project in the gallery. So that was an example of something being in the, in the cupboard for a hundred years until someone had another look and went, you know what, I think, I think people might want to see this. We've got quite a formalised procedure internally for loans. So we collate all the requests that have come in from galleries all over the world who all want a, a piece of the great Manchester collection temporarily in one of their shows and work out which shows we want to support. They need to send us environmental reports, security reports and a good description of what they're going to do with it and then we make our decision on that basis. I mean there are many different ways into art for many different people but there's a lot to be said for the advice of pick one thing, look at that for a couple of minutes. So you are engaging with the art by looking at something and going, how does it make me feel? Because, I mean, you'd be amazed. It's about 15, 20 seconds people generally spend in front of a picture and you imagine how much effort the artist put into making it. If you look at it enough, you'll, you'll get joy out of it. It's because we've got some beautiful stuff in the collection and it's, it's worth it a minute of anyone's time. I think the message we'd like to give out is we are, we are open to advice or suggestion. How can this collection best be used for people here? Don't let us tell you, tell us.